Let me try, we just go with the motions Close your eyes, ease your mind for a moment Need no smoke that make you feel you floating You no joke or you pressure you Good morning and welcome back to another vlog I just finished working out That's why I look gross But I'm about to go hop in the shower in a second Get ready and then go to a coffee shop and go work if you haven't seen my recent vlog, I gave you guys updates that I am back working as an interior designer, not full-time, just part-time, and it's with the previous company that I took a step away from back in 2020. I'm working with them again, fully remote and still in residential, so I'm happy to be back. It's exciting. I made a vlog last week, so if you haven't watched it, go watch that because I kind of give all the updates. It was a very chit-chatty vlog, but it was just giving you more information about where I'm at with things. I still will have content related to uh, modeling, social media, fitness, lifestyle in general, but obviously I filmed my life, so I wanted to incorporate this new journey that I'm on and are getting back into. So today I wanted to film, it's just Monday and I have quite a few clients already. I had talked about that my company was gonna ease me back in with some revisions before getting full clients, but it is a busy period. So last week I actually started working and did one revision and that one is sent out to a client already. And I have about four or five new clients that I need to start their projects on. So I wanna take you guys along today, just show you guys a run through of what life is like as a designer again. It's not gonna be that active in terms of just being focused on design. I just want to show you guys bits uh, and pieces of me as a designer. My life is still the same. I just have a portion of work that's gonna be doing design again with clients. And I know that a lot of people have a lot of interest in interior design. So I showered and I decided that I'm just gonna actually do some work here first before I go to any coffee shop. If I decide to go to a coffee shop, I have some energy right now and I feel like I'll be more focused in my own place just getting the initial designs or like the mood boards that i need to get done out the way and then if i start getting a little tired then i'll head over to starbucks or something it's currently 10 35 so i think i'm gonna try focusing and just like diving in for the next two hours and see how i feel i have some yerba mate to get me focused so we'll see how that goes i have about five clients i need to look over all of their information and get their mood boards completed and sent over to the tech team any assets that i need to complete so i'll probably just have like a little voiceover or just a montage of my screens of the work that i'm doing my team still hasn't figured out the solution yet for my Mac. They need a few more days. So right now I have to use both of my computers. Technically I can use my Windows, but I prefer my Mac. So I've just been kind of like opening multiple screens. I guess it works for me in a sense because I get to have two screens in the moment. That's another reason why I don't really want to go to a coffee shop right now, just because I don't want to carry both of my laptops with me. So it's just easier this way. So I'm gonna go hop on, try to knock out all of this work, and then I will kind of update you guys on things that I'm getting done. So here I am starting off looking through my client notes. I have both my laptops open because it's just easier for me to look through one computer and jot down on the other. I spent about five to 10 minutes looking through everything about them, what they're looking for, their room photos, inspiration, and everything that is required of them to answer in order for me to get a good idea how to design their space. I am a residential designer who works remote and does not go to these client spaces. So while I have direct communication with them through chats and consultations, I don't ever see their physical space. Therefore, that is why we ask them for so much info upfront in order to design their space. A few questions we ask are, what is their budget? What is their timeline? Basically, are they trying to buy things right away or not for a few months? This gives us an idea when designing whether we need to find certain pieces with quick delivery or if we can find something that may take longer to ship. We ask questions such as who lives there, how will they use this space, what are their top priorities, what styles are they drawn to. We also have them take a style quiz in order to get a better understanding of what they like. We also ask them for inspiration photos and this is just because a lot of times clients can say a style they like but not actually know what the correct style is. So we like them to take this style quiz and send this inspo to help us truly determine what their style is. 
We also asked them if they are keeping any existing furniture in the space, what brands they may like, and photos and dimensions of their space in order to build the 3D model. Once I have all this information, this is when I start a mood board, and this is basically when I start gathering ideas and pieces that I'll use in their space to design once the 3D model is built. So I got through two client spaces. I went through all their info, their notes, their photos, and what they want exactly for the space. So I was able to complete the mood board, send over the assets to the tech team, and I'm just waiting now for the room to be built and the assets to be created so that won't be probably finished for the next like day or two. So I won't be able to design the space until then, but I reached out to them telling them that I'm their designer and to reach out to me in the meantime if they have any questions or concerns. So that's where I'm at. I need to do that with about four more clients. All of these clients aren't due until next week. So I have about like seven to nine days with all of these clients. So I have some time, but I want to get their initial like mood boards out the way so I could get the team to build up all the assets in the room models so I could actually design the space. So that's kind of where I'm at. You have different phases of the process, obviously. So the initial part is going through all their info and reaching out to them and um creating mood board so i typically don't do a lot on the mood board part i like to design while i'm in this space so i'll add a few pieces that i have in mind from their inspo all their information to kind of like generally have something to start with and then once i'm in the space i think i work better that way when i'm visually in the space can see all the space that i have and then i'm able to work around the products that they currently want in their space or if i'm working brand new with just a clean slate then i'm able to just design fully while in the space rather than just working from a mood board perspective where i'm just working with images and thinking of the pieces that i would want in the space so that's where i'm at but I am, it's currently 12.30. So I worked for about two hours. I started up on the third client, but that client just didn't have a lot of information. So I was trying to put pieces together that I just couldn't think through at the moment. So I put that on pause and I am preheating the oven or, you know, I just preheated the oven and put something in it to snack on. And now I am actually going over watching my other updated designer video that I already posted it's up now but i haven't posted it just yet so i'm gonna go watch over that and then upload it to youtube so you guys have all that ready to watch for you so make sure to check that out if you haven't already that gives you all the information about where i'm at with design right now so i'm doing that and then i might go to starbucks and work from there to look over the rest of the client projects i have for the day and then just may take a pause on all design work because I still have other work to do. So that's where I'm at, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how the client projects are going and where my headspace is. This is the first time I have to like think in this design mindset again, but the mood board I feel like is where I'm just like gathering all the information and kind of strategizing where I want to go with the route of their space. Sorry if you hear a lot of background noise, I have the windows open. But generally, I don't do a lot of designing until I get into the actual 3D model. Let's go, grab a cup of coffee, pour it over ice, take it for a walk while we talk about our lives. I just want to spend some quality time, some quality time. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. I ended up not filming anything once I got to Starbucks. I totally forgot. I was literally just zoned in on my work. I got a few more client mood boards done when I went to Starbucks. And then once I got home, I just stopped working on any design related work for the rest of the day. It is now Tuesday and I wanted to actually show you guys one of my client projects because one of the rooms is now completed and I was actually able to go in and design because I just didn't want to show you guys any more just mood board uh, related like the intro first steps of the process uh, just because I already showed that earlier in the vlog but the app is currently down like I mentioned in the last vlog there's a lot of technical difficulties with a startup and so right now pretty much everything is not working they're trying to do some updates and we are not allowed to go into the dashboard or the app or pretty much anything in the meantime for at least another hour or so if things are fixed by then. 
So I have a meeting at 12 with two of my team members just because I'm still doing more onboarding stuff. So that I will bring you guys along, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I could actually get into the app today and design and show you guys just that side of the process, uh, just because that is the next process after me doing all the mood boards. Hey, Cassie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm doing good. That's awesome. Welcome back. Thanks. I know it's been so long. I can't believe it. I know. It was like, what, two years? Uh, yeah, like two and a half years, I think. Wow. Yeah. Follow you with every action. Lord, lead 